Va Darth Vader black, white, and red. This is a new comic series that, um, to be honest, I didn't know too much about it because I don't really follow the Star Wars comics other than the High Republic stuff. And that's just because, like, Star Wars puts out a lot, and I always feel like with Star Wars, none of it's going to be canon. You know, um, that's the way I feel with the books, too. That's why I don't read a ton of the books other than High Republic stuff. Because the way I look at it is this. Is they made Star Wars books back in the day that were not canon. Or, no, that were canon. And then eventually Disney came in and wiped all that clean. Now, that probably won't ever happen again with these uh, comics. Because Disney is will forever be the permanent owner. They're never going to sell Star Wars. It's just not going to happen, you know, sort of thing. Uh, and because of that, I don't think we'll ever have anything like that, but it does mean that I feel like Disney is not afraid to wipe away comics or reboot things or whatever, and I feel like that's something that's going to happen, and a lot of these comics aren't going to be canon. Not that so much of these comics being canon really matters or anything, because they really don't. But they do also put out an abundance of stuff. Just like I don't follow everything Marvel and DC do because trying to follow all that stuff would be insanity. But I don't I really like Darth Vader and I, I went to go see Return of the Jedi actually today in theaters for the 40th anniversary. But, you know, just got my mind on Star Wars. I'm always there. There wasn't too much coming out this week and I bought it. And I was very impressed by this. First of all, I love the very manga inspired art in this book that is so incredibly well drawn and it's led to some beautiful action scenes look at this this is beautiful and a lot of vader kicking ass in this book and that's what i really love about star wars material that's not so much the movies you get to really see vader kicking ass you know in the movies i think they're a little bit more afraid to show that but in like subsequent material like rebels you know vader really and Rogue One, some other stuff. In the mainline movies, yeah, Vader was very intimidating, but you didn't just see, see him with kick as much ass as he does. And then just the gorgeous framing of the book is incredible. I really love this issue. I thought it was incredible. Honestly, if you've never read a Star Wars comic and you just want something that's really, really cool, this is right here. It's just freaking awesome. I was so impressed by this, and I cannot wait for issue number two. Uh, it does not hit shelves till May 24th. So I will be picking that up and reviewing that for you guys as soon as possible. Because this is freaking amazing and I cannot wait to talk more Star Wars with you guys. Thank you guys for watching, like, share, and subscribe.